Hello and welcome to the Audulous Build Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a number value indicator for parameters that you'll use in your modules. So I'm going to create a patch here. I'm going to open the patch, create a knob, and then I'm going to create two value meters here. So I have one hooked up directly, and then I'm going to bring up in the modules under utility, translate, uh, the truncate to hundredths place. And you see how there's there's a lot of digits there. We don't necessarily need all that many digits, so we can copy and paste. Get this other one with just to the hundredths place. That's a lot more useful in most situations. You don't need that kind of 32-bit definition. So we'll pop out of the module. Oh, sorry, we'll, uh, uh, let's rename this here. I'm gonna rename it just value, just an example. Pop out, uh, expose that, and uh, pop out back there. Okay, yeah, so edit UI, uh, we'll move this around, and Here's the value, we'll lock the UI. You see how the, the knob partially covers the value there? Let's move it down a little bit more. There we go, lock UI. And now you can see the value while you're turning the knob. And if you put the, you might be tempted to put it inside the knob, but then the, it'll be covered up uh, while you're turning the knob. This is because when you're in iOS, you know your finger would be on top of the value anyway, so you don't need to see through the knob. It's better to have it above or below. You don't want it to the side though, like this, because you'll, as you'll see, the outside bounding of the uh, the module there will bounce around. That's not super attractive there, so it's it's better to not have it as the the furthest most object on the uh, uh, in the module. It it can be to the to the right of the module as long as there's something else that's holding the edge there. You see, it's even worse with all those digits there, so. This is just one way, you know, if you want to have, uh, you know, number of seconds, um, milliseconds on a delay or something, this is a way to do it uh, that was quick and easy. And it was a request that a user had in an email that they sent to me at mark at audulus.com. Uh, they were wondering how to do this. And so I made this video as a response to it. If you have any other questions uh, or suggestions for build podcasts, uh, email me there at mark at audulus.com. Come join us at the forum, forum.audulus.com. Uh, we'd love to have you there. And please take some time to give us a five-star review in the iOS and Mac store. All your reviews really help and we really appreciate it. Thanks. See you next time.